Vance Hydrogen. This is the install of my 6x6 4 neutral 4 cell dry cell. That's a mouthful. And a 2007 Ford Super Duty. As you can see, I mounted it in, in behind the bumper. What I did was, I don't know if it's going to show on the video. I made a mounting plate down here at the bottom of the bumper. There was three original screws that go to the license plate. The license plate just snaps back in and hangs on these little, uh, little bolts that are hanging down there. Uh, so that's so that I made a steel plate. I drilled three holes. And then I have these little tabs, which probably you can't see because the light's really bad. Sorry about the video. Three, I made these two tabs on the bottom of the dry cell that are one plate. They're not, they don't go through both plates, just on the one plate. And it sits on the plate. The plate goes all the way back behind the cell on the bottom. And so if I ever have to take this cell out, all I gotta do is unscrew these two screws right here and take the nuts and bolts off. I can grab the cell and I lean it forward and it comes right out. And I can set it on the ground right here and do maintenance, whatever I've gotta do on it. And I'll show you what I did on the inside. I gotta pop the hood. This is a good looking, good looking truck. It's a uh, King Ranch edition. Wish it was my truck. <laughs> this truck's nice. It's got a saddle leather interior. You get, you get the hood going. This is a brand new Ford truck and it's having problems popping the hood. Go figure. I'm probably gonna have to stop the video and start again to get the hood open on this thing. Oh, here it goes. All right, never mind. Well, it'd be nice if I learned how to open a hood. Anyways, I've got two reservoirs on this cell. There's one there. And one there. And so it's in a V configuration. You see, i got a hose up here. I've got, actually have an, uh, an inlet for the gas. And there's also a return down at the bottom for the cell. I did, and then here's the gas tube that crosses over, goes in here. Same with this one, I've got uh, an inlet back here, and I've got a return. So I actually have two inlets and two returns on the cell. Uh, just an experiment, I want to see what happens. Um, the volt, the uh, amperage hasn't stabilized, it jumps between 38 amps and 44. But I haven't had the, any kind of a steam problem. It goes right here before the turbo in the inlet. Um, it's the vacuum side of the turbo is where you want to put it, and it is behind what I'm pretty sure that is a MAF. Um, I'm 100% positive that is an MAF, even though I was told erroneously that um, diesels don't have an MAF. Well, there's one right there. I'm looking right at it. So uh, I'm not having this, the steam problem. The output looks good. Um, I'm going to turn this thing on, and I'll show you inside the bubbler. So let me stop the video and I'll restart it in a minute.